If My Chemical Romance has ever come up on your Spotify shuffle as you have been fighting through the caves in Stardew Valley, then chances are you probably married Sebastian, Pelican Town's resident purple-haired emo boy and arguably the most popular bachelor in the game. Hello and welcome to the second episode of a series I'm calling Should You Marry, where we go through every single bachelor and bachelorette in Stardew Valley and answer the big question. Should you really marry them? And today, we're gonna fulfill the dreams of every alt kid around the world as we go after your favorite little mopey-faced cat boy, Sebastian. And see, is he really worth the hype? We did call it Haley Farm not last time, and so I think we're gonna have to keep it as Haley Farm. As you can see, our house looks uh, a little bit different than it did last time, and probably not quite in Haley's taste, but that's because today, uh, we're gonna be getting rid of Haley. We're gonna be bringing in Sebastian. Oh, this is awkward. We've got to make sure the farm is cute. That might be important, right, honey? Yeah, that's um. You 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 focus you focus on that, Haley. You um. You you concentrate on that, okay? I, I hope you're happy today. I don't know how we're gonna tell her. I think we gotta look like someone who Sebastian would actually fall in love with. So like Sam, I was, should we make him, should we make him look like Sam? I was gonna go with Abigail. <laughs> okay, he looks that, mm. and now we need to make his hair super yellow. Like, okay, that's still a little piss looking. I'm gonna go to Sam and you guys are gonna see that I look like Sam. Okay, it's, Okay, maybe it does look a little bit like piss. Sebastian loves frozen tears. He is a little emo boy who loves his little Walmart piss-haired boyfriend. Scotland forever. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh my God. Oh my God, there he is. Hi. Uh, how's it going? Why? No, wait, you didn't say anything to me. Wait, come back. You didn't say anything to me. Why don't you hold me like you used to? Totally not, Alex. That's not my name anymore. That's not my name anymore and you know it. I just need Clint to be open. That's... Wow, look at that. We're... Guys, we've just got so many frozen tears that we can give to Sebastian from those geodes. Now the difficult thing with Sebastian is even when you have the things that you want to give to him, he just lays in his bed for most of the day. This is what happens when you date a depressed cat boy. Come on, Sebastian, get to work. Oh, he's off to work. This is it. This is all he does. Maru, you got my heart, you got my hopes up. Oh, there he is. My room might be a little less depressing if I had a window. Look, he's all sad. Where are you heading to, Sebastian? Hey, Linus. Oh, whoa, whoa, God. He just sits there and smokes. This is really the life of someone who does code. Sit in your room till two o'clock and then you go have a smoke next to the train tracks and then you go back to coding. Oh, hey, Haley. Hey, uh, hey, it's good to see you. Um, I get scared easily. I think I'm just gonna stay right here. Yeah, you, 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 you stay right here. Just don't wanna, you don't wanna see these, um, you don't wanna see these skeletons down here. Oh my God. <laughs> I said, I have no idea how these walking skeletons are walking. Creepy. Yeah, it's really, it's kind of scary. It'd be, you know, it's like, it's like, oh, I'm so scared. Someone hold me, you know? <laughs> I think our date with Seb went really well. We've got one heart with Seb. <gasps> and we've got minus one heart with Haley. What did we do to upset Haley? I guess changing our name, our whole style, the house, and then not telling, ever talking to her might be something. The summer's coming out less and less these days. Wonderful. That's why we like Sebastian. That's our little edgy emo boy. He's such a fucking vampire. I think even though we looks like look like Sam, I think we need to do a little bit more to get Sebastian to fall in love with us. Perfect. You know Sebastian's a sucker for some cat ears. Hang on. Okay, Sebastian. We're getting serious now. What, what would Sebastian's voice be? I think he would be like an anime Valorant voice. I don't really have anything to say. I still don't know you very well. Well, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of mean. What? Oh, oh, it's our first cutscene. It's our two heart cutscene. Hey, give me a sec. He's busy, I should leave or stay put. We could just awkwardly kind of sit there as he's typing away. That was pretty awkward. Sorry about that. I just needed to finish what I was working on. 
Ask him what he's working on. Compliment the decor of his room. There is not much to compliment him on. We're just, we're just gonna ask him what he's working on. Ugh, I do freelance work as a programmer. Ugh, that was an instant message from Sam. I guess he wants to like, hang out. Ugh, I don't really feel like going out today. Ow, depressed cat boy. Oh, hi, totally not Sam. Sibby, I know you don't like it when I come in here, but I ran into Abigail at the store. She said she was looking for you. Did you tell her I'm working? I did. Wait, no, that's not Robin's voice. Why does Robin sound like the Batman? No one takes my job seriously. No one ever bothers Maru when she's working at the clinic. Does everyone think I'm just surfing the web all day and fighting crime on the streets of Gotham? I like having friends. I just need a lot of time alone balance out the social stuff. Oh, he's a little introvert. Sam's the opposite. He goes crazy if he's alone for too, too long. Maybe that's why I like computers so much. They're engaging, straightforward, and unselfish. Quite the opposite of a, a lot of people I know. Can I just walk in? Oh, he's not here. Oh yeah, I can just, I can just walk into his room. Seb, happy birthday. Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. Well, I try to give this to you every day, but you know, like, can I come into your bed? So what do you want to talk about? No, what, Sib? No, come back. Whoa, he's a working man? He's a mechanic? Uh, hey, totally not, Sam. Is that a bald spot? What is that? Oh, it's a cigarette. I see it. You haven't seen my motorcycle before. Huh. I guess I haven't shown it to you. Call it the Batmobile. Every time he says something edgy, in his head, he's got Nirvana playing over and over. Sometimes after sundown. Make the long ride out of Stardew Valley. There's nothing else like it. Blazing along the empty stretch of a road toward the faint city glow where I fight crime in the night. Darkness in the shadows. I'm vengeance. Once I've saved up enough money, I'm gonna head out on my own to the city beyond. Just me and my bike. He's so, oh my God, he's actually so edgy. We just piss in a bucket. There we go. Oil's changed. Maybe I'll let you ride it sometime. I'm scared of motorcycles. No thanks, that sounds stupid. We can go for a little ride together. You can hang onto my waist. No thanks. That sounds pretty fucking stupid to me. That sounds fun. Great. And then the camera pans off to the distance. Something's in the way. It is insane how much of a little emo boy he is. I know people like him because he's all dark and mysterious. But God, is he edgy. I just like to drive out to the night on my motorcycle. You know, and let the breeze of the city take me in as I watch the glow of the nighttime. And I hate my mom, because I live in her basement and she makes me do the dishes. All you do is just sit here, Haley. You're not the Haley I fell in love with, huh? How are you? What do you say to me if I just walk into your room? I wonder what's for dinner tonight, Grumble. You're not very nice to your mum. It could get pretty lonely up here in the mountain. Is that why Sebastian just sits in his room all day? Speak to me, Sebastian. Do more, I'm begging you. Have more of a personality than just being super edgy. At least Haley had character development. It's fun to live so close to the train tracks. It's a reminder that there's a big world out there. I think Sebastian has a lot of like, he's ambitious and he sees more potential in himself than just living in this small, tiny farmer village. Wow, you look like you did a lot of work today. Uh, yeah, I was out on the farm all day. Anyway, I'm gonna bed. Um, I know it's, it's a bit of an early night, but um, good night, dear. Hey, Seb, where are you going? Seb's left his room before two o'clock. I don't want to see where he's heading to. He also hasn't shown any like interest in us. Surely he's not going to the pub again, right? Oh, he's coming to hang out with Sam. I like winter, but I do feel bad for all the cold animals out there. <gasps> Maybe he does have a bit of a heart on him. Are you in Wait, do you like animals, Seb? I guess they're used to it though. Like me. Something's in the way. He's so stupidly edgy. Is he going into, wait, he's going to Sam's? Oh, he plays the keyboard, but I'm not, I can't go and see anything. Seb, let me listen to your songs. You guys actually just went from hanging out here, watching Sam play on his Game Boy. You went inside, you played the piano for an hour, and now you've come to stand back in the exact same spot. At least Haley took photographs. Oh, 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 this must be the six star. Hey, totally not Sam. I didn't see you walk in. Sam and I were about to play a Solorian Chronicles the game. Why don't you join us? 
better with three players anyway. Why'd you not invite H Abigail? Are you ready to choose your character? I'm gonna go for the healer class. The king has entrusted you and your com companion with recovering the Silorian staff. You step out into a precipice to see your destination looming in the distance. The tower lies before you. Go in the front. Fortune favors the bold. Search for a back entrance. Let's remain hidden. Listen, Seb, I think we should search for a back entrance. Three prisoners are floating in a strange glowing capsule. They appear to be in the process of some kind of transformation. That's so scary. Destroy the capsules. Let's free these people. After putting these poor souls to rest. Oh no, we just killed them? Ah, so you've come for the Salarian staff. Dreadlord Zarth casts Shadow Beam. You were able to dodge the spell, but your companions are gravely injured. I've got to heal them. Well, I've got to... Sam can die. I don't care about Sam. Thanks. Totally not Sam. <laughs> Look at his face. Sebastian casts Pure Bolt. A beam of white light hits Zarf square in the face. The Dreadlord shrieks ah, and crumbles into dust. Well, that was easy. Oh, he's dead. Order has been restored to the world. You finished with the scenario with a B rating? Wait, what could I do better? Not bad. It took me like three or four tries to beat the first scenario. Oh, you got a little, little happy face. Thanks for stopping by, Owen. I'll see you later. He liked us. I built a snow goon, but Demetrius made me get rid of it. Yeah, Marnie's cute little snowman gets unharmed. Stepdaddy issues. This is exactly what he needed as a character. Ridiculous. Yes, yes, Sebastian, it is ridiculous. Ah, so he's not the favorite child and it makes him sad. Tell me all your secrets, my boy. Mm. Did you see the snowman I built? Yeah, did you see the one that Sebastian built and that got knocked down? Do you even care about your brother? You're just standing there? Nothing surprises me anymore. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Nothing surprises me anymore. Nothing makes me laugh. Yeah, I know. Being a little dramatic. Something. He's such a drama queen. Oh my God. I think his eight star event one is at the beach. I think I understand the issue of why it's not working. It needs to be on a rainy day. It can't rain during winter. It's not going to work unless we go to spring or autumn. I know it's snowing during autumn, but we're going to have to cheat our way through this one. Now it's only now it's snowing and raining for some reason. Did we break the game? It's snaining. This should spark his eight heart event. Oh, <gasps> totally not Sam. Surprised to see you out here in the snain. You know, the, the snow rain. You get it quite a lot here in Stardew. I like your cat ears. These dark clouds looming over the horizon. They remind me of the dark times that fall upon Gotham City. I hope they come this way. I like this weather because it makes everyone disappear, you know. Being around people makes me feel anxious. See, this is what I wanted. This is, this is what he needs. He's finally opening up to us, finally. It's taken him so long, but he's finally starting to so show some emotion to us. I don't feel that way around you though. <gasps> Is he crying? We're getting soaked. Yeah. There's room for two. Oh. Well, get on, get on closer. Get on closer. We're underneath the umbrella together. Here's my issue, right? That was pretty sweet, but it didn't really feel like an eight heart event. That feels like what have been a six heart event for other characters. Let's go give him his bouquet. Oh, he's not here. Wait, maybe he's on this pier? Oh, he is at that pier. The ocean is best enjoyed alone. Think. Oh, so you don't you don't want me here, Seb? Okay, sure. If you want to enjoy the ocean alone, you can enjoy the ocean alone. Seb, do you want to be my boyfriend? I feel the same way. Something in the way. You are actually so stupid. You are such a stupid boy. I'm gonna go get a divorce, and then you need to start like getting your stuff together. I can't go outside together. My hair will go limp. Forgive me, dear. Listen, forgive me for what I'm about to do, because uh, I've got the papers signed. The prenup was there for a reason. Uh, I want to get a divorce. I want to look my best for you. My lawyers will be in touch. 
50 grand! 50 big ones for the for the big for the big D. <laughs> File for divorce. Your divorce case has been filed, but your spouse won't know until tomorrow morning. We have to spend another night together. <laughs> the hell is he one last time? Hey, Haley. This is for you. Yeah. Um, you're gonna get a phone call in the morning. I hope it's nice and sunny tomorrow morning. Yeah, about tomorrow. Um. Listen, I, I hope it's sunny too. And all that's left behind is that one dresser that she put in the way. Oof. She will not talk to us. That's crazy. She's just not talking to us at all. Just nothing. Oh my god, he's getting ready to go on his motorbike? Hey, totally not, Sam. I was just about to head out. Hop on. Show you something. He's such a nerd pretending to be a bad boy. <gasps> Look at us go! We're like E.T. That's Zuzu City in the distance. I come here when I want to get away from everything. Just think. So, what do you think? I, I think you should stop. I think you should quit smoking. Personally, as a farmer who moved away from Zuzu City, I think it's kind of ugly. But I think you want to hear the words, it's strange. It gives me a strange sad feeling because you're a little fucking melodramatic e-boy it's exactly how i feel too i know you're easy to predict sebastian the city used to draw me in now i'm finding myself happier at home in the valley away from the crime totally not sam i've never felt anything like this with another guy before but you're you're different you know what i'm trying to say don't you that I will be the Catwoman to your Batman. Oh, they kissed. Oh, you didn't drop me off at home. You just dropped me off here. Hello, sir. I've come to buy another pendant. Can I just buy like, can I just buy like 10 of these from you? Are you going to still talk about like unromantic things? If you're lucky, you might see a frog in this weather. I accept. I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days. What do you think? I think we're gonna look super cute for our wedding. Wait, I'm wearing a tux anyway. It, wait, is Haley in the crowd? Haley's not in the crowd. Look, she she should be there next to um Emily. You may kiss. We're husband and husband. Oh, isn't that so sweet? <laughs> the villagers are like, didn't he just get married like a, a month ago? Life is gonna be different from now on. Wow, until we get the divorce. This used to be a bong back in the day. Unlike Haley's, this actually fits the rest of the house. What? You want me to clean? Make you a sandwich? Wait, 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 what is this? He, Seb, I expect you to look after me in some ways. I, I work the farm all day, Seb. It's breaking my back, literally. And you can't even just clean the house a little bit? What, is he even gonna help her out around the farm? I'll just you'll watch you from here. He's not even helping out around the farm. Where is he? What are you gonna ask me for? I'm gonna take a walk today. I need some time to myself. I'll see you in the evening. We've been married for four days and he's already like, I need some time alone. I think the divorce is gonna come hard and fast for him. Oh, there's 14 star. Glad you showed up. There's an injured frog in that bush. I gotta save him. It's for justice, for my parents. Go over to the bush and try to get him to come towards me. I'll wait over here and catch him. Okay. You ready? Oh, he's coming. Look at him run. <laughs> Look at the speed. Got him. Poor little guy. His foot's all mangled. I like it's our new son. That's really funny. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. He's definitely got your nose. Wait, he took my nose? Let's take him home. Frog noises. Unlike Haley, I'm kind of yet to feel loved. And I think that might just be his personality because he's very introverted. So I guess if you are an introverted individual in yourself, that might be beneficial to you. But I'm yet to actually feel affection or that he actually wanted to marry me. Seb, it is six o'clock in the morning. Why are you at the bong? Oh, cute. Our little friend's doing much better, see? But go back into the wild. Not fast enough to avoid predators anymore. We live with a cat. The cat's definitely gonna eat him. So I set up this terrarium. Looks happy, doesn't he? I wonder if he'll get lonely though. 
Uh, why not start a frog sanctuary? Hey, even for frogs and toads who can't make it. Bad idea. Why do you like frogs so much anyways? He's been on Tumblr too much. Huh. Well, after my parents' death, I fell into a cave and there was just a lot of frogs around, so I developed a fear of them, but also an admiration. I ended up feeling a common bond with these little guys. What? He's ran away. Oh, okay. I guess we just don't have a frog anymore. Seba, you take the frog and the divorce. So it's time to answer the big question. Should you marry Sebastian? And truthfully for me, maybe not. <laughs> oh God, this is going to be so controversial. Look, I, I came into this loving Sebastian and I said in the first episode, this all comes down to individual taste. But for me, Sebastian was just too reserved. I never felt like through his storyline, I actually was ever like growing closer to him. He always seemed at a distance. Even when I married him, I felt like he was never my husband. I know he's an introverted character, but there was, I, I just never felt like he really opened up to a good extent, specifically post marriage. You do have the cutscenes where he gets slightly closer to you when he's on the bike and he's like, oh, I've never felt this way about another guy before. But it never really feels like he would ever say the words, I love you to you. And that's a bit of a bummer for me. And on top of that, the no cleaning comment really got to me. Like, bro, what, are, are you are you 15? Are you, what? I'm out here breaking my back in the farm and you won't even like clean up after yourself. He was really cute in the scenes where he did slightly open up, like the rain scene and the motorbike scene was kind of nice. It just really kind of wasn't enough for me. I do enjoy that he has the nerdy aspect to himself. He sees himself as like, like oh, I ride a motorbike more edgy, but he's a proper nerd who's into D&D. &D. So if you're looking for the quiet little emo boy, which I know a lot of you are, then I think he will be perfect for you. But for me, I really wish he showed some maturity and development post marriage, both in a connection and as an individual. And because of that, I gotta put Sebastian right down the middle at two and a half chickens. Please don't yell at me. I would usually end this on like a quip or something before we cut to the final post credit scene. But I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the support that's been that I got for the beginning of the series. Um, I didn't know how well received it was going to be, but the comments always make me smile. So I just want to give a quick thank you for that. And if you want to be more involved and maybe Twitch or Discord, then please follow the links down below. You can have a say on future videos and specifically this series and which bachelors and bachelorettes I should do next. So thank you guys for watching. I do really appreciate it. Your support in the comments has been amazing. And I've also just realized I'm wearing the exact same outfit as I did the last video. Bye.